So the OnePlus 9 series was just released slash announced today, and OnePlus actually sent us on over a kit for us to take a look at. I'm Luke Pollock with Android Authority, and today we're going to unbox the OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. Oh my God, this is a big box. Holy moly. All right, so we've got Hasselblad on the side, and it looks like we've got OnePlus branding on the front. And I'll just rotate this around so you can see Hasselblad on the front. Oh boy. Well, that kind of scared me. <laughs> wow, all right. What is this? Looks like some sort of photograph. All right, so as you can see, we've got the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. Um, we're gonna set this aside for now, and we'll crack into that in just a second. One plus nine series, your best shot. Well, I'm glad it's your best shot and not your worst shot because that would be a problem. All right, so let's put this to the side for now and uh, let's take a look at this. So this seems to be some sort of picture of an astronaut. Anyways, pretty cool picture of an astronaut. Unclear as to what the camera is. I think that's a Hasselblad. That's, that's probably what that's referring to. All right, so this kind of folds up. This reminds me of one of those origami folding scenarios you did in school. But pretty cool packaging, not gonna lie. Okay, now we've got this, all right, and it's already open. So let's take a look at it. All righty, anything else in here? Doesn't look like there's anything else in here, so, uh, all right. And now let's take a look at this warp charger. All right, so we've got the OnePlus Warp Charge 50 wireless charger. I think this is their new charger. I've actually never tried one of their wireless chargers, so I'm really excited to see how this works. I know it's got some sort of, yeah, it says right here, some turbine air cooling to uh, help cool the device when it's being wireless charged because this is a higher wattage charger than you would see on your typical Qi wireless charger. As you can see, pretty cool, not bad. Alrighty, and then what else we got? We've got what looks to be another, one plus case. It says a special case right here. A special case. Glad it's a special case and not some other case. And it looks like we've got another special case. I don't really know what differentiates between their normal cases and their special cases, uh, but this one, it's a special case. Now let's take a look at these phones. So let's start off with the one plus nine. That's the lower cost entry into the, the uh, series here. All right, so that's the OnePlus 9 series in 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, and it's in Astro Black. So let's crack this thing open. I gotta hand it to OnePlus. I've always liked their packaging. Uh, it's always very Apple-esque, very premium feeling. It's got some sort of serial number, some sort of Hasselblad number in the box. It's kind of interesting. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Wow, this is... This phone is thick. Gee whiz. Well, it looks pretty good. We'll set that aside for now. Okay, so we've got a, yep, it's a Warp Charge 65 charger. So that's good to see in the box. Glad to see that OnePlus is not going with the, the stereotypical don't include charger in the box nowadays. Still can't believe that's a trend and really hope that doesn't continue. Um, let's see what else we got in terms of documentation. So we've got a welcome little card here, pretty cool. It says Hasselblad. Man, they've really got the Hasselblad branding here. Definitely not wanting you to forget that that's there. Got a quick start guide, safety information, charger, and then this another coiled cable here. And I gotta say, OnePlus coiled cables are always really nice, and I wish I could buy these actual clips because uh, I would use these on everything. But other than that, looks pretty cool. Again, I gotta admit, OnePlus packaging is very premium feeling. All right, let's take a look at the OnePlus 9 Pro. Looks like they've sent me the 12 gigabyte, 256 in morning mist. All righty. Okay, so we've got that camera information on the inside of the box. That's pretty sweet, definitely cool. And let's look at the phone here. Wow, that looks really nice, actually. You know, from what I saw in the leaks, I didn't think I'd be that impressed with it, but honestly, it's a pretty sweet looking phone. Definitely thick. I don't know if it's as thick. Yeah, it looks like it's as thick as the other one. And wow, actually that black is really nice too. So this is the morning mist color. Um, and we'll take a look at these more in depth in here in just a second. And we'll start with the OnePlus 
nine. So let's take a look at it. All right, gotta admit that was a less than satisfying peel, but no worries. Very cool. Wow, very sleek. And immediately I can tell this is gonna be a fingerprint magnet. I think it's glass, but it, I mean, the nine almost feels kind of plastic. Huh, that's pretty cool. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But there you go. Pretty nice. I like the sleekness of this design. You've got the two camera modules here as compared to the uh, the four here, or rather three. Um, very similar design. Wow, there's a... It feels like the 9 Pro is slightly heavier. I wouldn't be surprised, that would make sense. All right, but we've got our volume switcher on the side here. Or sorry, our volume ringer switch on the side, power button, and then we've got the volume slider on the left side here. We've got, looks like our SIM card slot, USB-C, single firing speaker on the bottom, and what appears to be a firing speaker on the top. I think this phone also has Dolby Atmos, if I remember correctly. All right, now let's take a look at the 9 Pro. All right, so we're gonna peel this off again too. Again, not very uh, <laughs> satisfying in terms of appeal there, but wow. Wow, that's a thick phone. Well, this very, definitely feels like a OnePlus device, um, for sure. It's got a very OnePlus feel. In fact, wow, that's kind of cool. The OnePlus logo seems to be kind of etched into the back of the glass here, but there looks to be another pane of glass on the top to kind of give it a 3D effect of sorts. So that's pretty cool. We've got the Hasselblad logo. Was that in the back here too? Yeah, Hasselblad was here. I actually prefer the vertical Hasselblad as opposed to the horizontal one here on the 9 Pro but uh, still pretty cool. All right, let's uh, actually uh, turn on these phones. Okay, so we've got the two devices set up now, and as you can see right off the bat, there isn't that much of a difference in terms of displays. Um, one thing to note though, is that the screen here on the nine is a flat edge screen, so there is no curved edges on this, on this display, and actually, that's something I actually prefer. Um, compared to the 9 Pro, there is a slight curvature to the edge of the display. Nothing major uh, compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, and 8 Pro. Those devices had a lot more curve, um, and that just led to a lot of phantom touches, and I don't think that's going to be a problem here on the 9. First impressions of the screen here, very, very nice. Um, very incredibly smooth. They both feature 120 hertz panels. Um, they can be downclocked to 60 hertz for better battery life, but something that I would really like to see is an option for 90 hertz um, instead of 60 hertz um, just to save more battery life, but you'd still get that smooth effect uh, at 120 hertz. And the difference between 60 to 90 is a lot bigger than 90 to 120. So hopefully that's something that we'll see down the road, um, but it's still good to see that we have an option to, to underclock the display if we want to you know, conserve more battery life. Um, another thing I've noticed just briefly from looking at the set, uh, settings here, and something that you're not going to be able to see in camera, is the color shifting. So if you're in a blank page, uh, say settings, and you tilt the phone, you can kind of start to see a shift in color temperature. Um, you can see it more on the 9 Pro here, um, but the, sh the viewing angle shift towards blue. Um, and it's not as drastic on the 9, but one thing I will notice is that when you are turning it, it looks like the color accuracy of the display on the 9 shifts towards magenta, um, a more a red, whereas the 9 Pro shifts towards more a blue kind of green color, a blue green color. The 9 is a bit thicker of a device. Nothing crazy, um, but it does feel a little bit thicker. Now turning towards the back, you can see that we've got uh, a diff very similar camera bumps, very similar camera bumps, but on the 9, the regular 9, you can see that there's three cameras, and on the 9 Pro, there is four. Um, again, nothing major. I'm curious to see how these handle in real life performance, considering that uh, cameras have always been kind of a sore side for OnePlus, but this partnership with Hasselblad should be uh, a big improvement, so we'll be taking a look at that. Uh, in our reviews. All right, so the 9 Pro and the 8T feel very similar in terms of weight, uh, very similar in terms of design. You can see that the 9 Pro uh, and the 8T 
Uh, both have very similar camera bumps. Uh, I like the feeling of the 8T in the hand a little bit more. I prefer that frosted glass back, but you know, that's not everybody's preference. Um, these other phones, the 9 and 9 Pro, feel very premium. So don't get me wrong, they're very nice phones. Now, in terms of design compared to other phones, I have a Galaxy S21 Ultra here. And in terms of thickness, this phone is definitely thicker, but not, not crazily so. I'd, I'd say it's just by a thin margin. Um, as you can see here, the devices, they're, they're pretty close in design. And one thing that's notice, uh, interesting about the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is this camera bump right here is far larger than these other ones on the OnePlus devices. So I'm really excited and glad to see that OnePlus has opted for a slimmer camera bump. I think giant camera bumps are uh, something of the past, something I would really like to see go away. In fact, you can see the same thing here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We've got a very big camera module um, and compared to these other phones, um, similar design, but very different. Okay, so I went ahead and took a look at these two cases here and at a glance, they feel really good. Um, I really like the OnePlus kind of sandstone back. It's very reminiscent of the OnePlus One. Uh, that was one of my favorite phones. In fact, it was my first, obviously my first OnePlus phone um, and I really, really liked it. So it's really nice to see that here. It feels very nice. Um, it also seems to be a bit thicker than the case for the, the carbon case for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Um, but overall, these case, cases feel great. I will admit OnePlus always does a great job in terms of presentation uh, and quality when it comes to their case design. Um, and that's no different here with the OnePlus 9 Pro. This carbon fiber case feels very, very nice in the hands. Uh, definitely something uh, to keep in mind if you're looking for first party cases. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Big shout out to OnePlus for sending these devices over. If there's anything else that you'd like us to know, make sure to drop it in the comments below. This is Luke Pollock with Android Authority, and I'll catch you in the next video. Boy, this is, wow, okay, <laughs> there it is.